So before we get into the video, I just want to talk about a couple things. Um, I'll make it quick. Usually with POV style videos, I'm going to aim to talk throughout and talk through my process um, as that's what I like to do when I watch a lot of people. I like to hear them talk through what they're doing. But for this video, I don't do that, obviously. I decided to just immerse myself in what was going on around me, the people around me, and just kind of absorb the whole atmosphere that was going on with the Black Lives Matters protest in Norwich. To any person of colour watching this, I know that I will never understand, but I stand. I know that I was born with privilege. I've never had to worry about being discriminated against because of the colour of my skin. I've never felt that I was in any way unsafe due to the colour of my skin. I stand with you and I vow to educate myself and others around me um, to kind of amplify this message that we are all wanting to get out because things do need to change. Racism just shouldn't shouldn't be a thing in 2020. It just it's it is baffling. In the description below, I'm going to link a load of resources that I found useful. Um, my sister is very clued up on everything, and she's been sending me through stuff over the last week or so. So below, I'm going to link all kinds of resources. So programs on Netflix for anyone that is visual, podcasts for anybody that likes to listen to things, uh, books, which I'm, I myself am going to get around to uh, reading as well. So that will all be below. And then one last thing before we get into the video is that people at the protest were all wearing masks. I do believe everybody was very mindful of the distance that they were keeping from each other and the people that were organising the protest advised everyone to kind of isolate for up to 14 days afterwards just as a precaution. Um, I'm lucky enough to be able to do that. Others, people that I know that wanted to go to the protest um, knew that they wouldn't be in a position to do that so they had to stay at home and, and watch the live streams. So I just want to say that I wore a mask the whole time, I took due care and I am now going to go into another form of self-isolation just to be sure but it's a long one so grab your tea grab your coffee grab whatever you're drinking and i just hope that the atmosphere of the whole thing comes across because it it genuinely was just something else like i've been feeling so negative about the world um rightly so about everything going on but going yesterday it was yesterday for me just kind of brought back some of that spark for me just to show that you know humanity is good and we can all come and be in this together. I said I wasn't going to ramble but it's hard not to ramble with something like this but enjoy the video and yeah see you soon with another one. Okay so we're on our way into Norwich Centre today we're going with the 85 millimetre again because I feel like I want to test it out some more and um, it's the Black Lives Matter protest going on today and I definitely want to be there for it so apologies if it's muffled I am wearing a mask we've got about a 20 minute walk into town but I thought I'd turn the camera on now in case we see any signs on the way.